With Red Bull's new car reveal, where we saw nothing, absolutely nothing on the car, we just saw the colors, uh, it leads me to think of manipulation and to think that F1 is a sport of secrecy uh, and hide and seek. So <laughs> we're going to be looking today at F1 Clash on the biggest manipulation setup of the 2021 season in today's video. Shout out to Marco Pedrona, AMG, Alfredo Jr., Dan Real, Good Mantis, I am Lian, and Amada Alcuso. Welcome back in with King Family to another F1 Clash video. So once again, we're going to be jumping straight in here uh, to see how does this setup performs in Series 12. Can we still win uh, in Series 12 with this setup? This setup was like the biggest manipulation setup of 2021. And I haven't been using it for a long while. I haven't used it. I haven't, I've noticed a lot of players have kind of moved away and stopped using it as well. But let's see if it still works and if we can still get some wins up here in Series 12. All right, so here we go for our first race. Our first and only race off the video, that is. <laughs> All right, let's go. We're on France. First off, you want to see uh, what qualifiers are going to bring us. Looking good so far. It's looking promising. Still looking good. There we go. I qualify 21, 22. <laughs> and yes, you've guessed it. You've guessed it. And if you remember correctly, you always want to try not to stock with this setup. So we've opted to go for the split strategy here. Uh, putting one driver on softs and one driver on hards. Leading that the driver on softs will go through, make up some positions. There you see him going through the pack, making up some positions. While the driver on hards will kind of try to stick with the back guys, with the rival at the back. There you see our driver with the softs making up all the way up to P11. And we see our, our Verstappen in the back uh, at P23. All right, so we see the rival drivers Bottas and Verstappen are also sticking to the back here uh, with our Verstappen uh, and Kimi's all the way up to P12 so far. All right, so now we've dropped back at the back as we are on the softer compound tires, so which is hards. We're on the harder compound, so it's a bit slower on the hard. So we want to make sure we give our driver a little bit of boost here and there to keep up there. And if we see an opportunity to overtake, you want to make sure we take that opportunity once you see your driver bearing down on the back of the opponent car or a car in front that means they want to overtake but they need some more power so once you see them doing that you want to give them that little power uh, and let them go around all right so once they're right down in the back of the car in front then they need a little more power uh, to pull that overtake all right so we're gonna go for three laps here with, with our kimi and there we see our stop and drop him back but that's all right we just want to make sure we get this three laps now we can boost for stop and by pit here as you can see he's down in the back of bottas but then he pulls away because he's on the softer compound tires and we're going to do four laps with our verstappen here we're, we're going to be boosting the fourth lap and then come back to softs and at that point kimmy should already be on softs boosting away all right so we're going to let Kimi go now into pit. Our pit time is going to be very, very high on this setup. And it's, it's always high with this setup. Super high. We see the rival bought us out of fuel, out of tires. So we can boost or Verstappen from about there to catch the rival bought us. There we go. Get in him. Out of the way. Pit time, 6.43 seconds. For our Kimi, we're going to slow down Verstappen here. We don't want to burn down too much of those tires. We want him to be able to get go back to pit without running out of tires. So we're going to give him a little boost there. As Kimi comes by, we're going to do team orders and let Kimi go. And we're going to put in our go to pit orders for Verstappen. We're going to boost him from this corner right here. There we go. Boost him from there. And that should take him to pit. 
All right, so Verstappen should get out before Bottas gets out, gets by uh, when he goes to pit. And basically, we're huge in the lead here. So as you can see, this setup that has not been used in a long while can still get some wins. <laughs> All right. So you guys can still use this setup to get some wins, especially now that the season is gnawing down to a close. Uh, you're going to need all those wins, all those race counts, all those wins are going to be needed. We still don't uh, haven't gotten a progress bar update as yet to give us an idea of uh, how much race is how much race count and how much race wins we're going to need. So what you need to do is get as much race wins and race count in there as possible. All right. And if you're looking for an easy way to get some wins, uh, this setup, masterful, beautiful setup for some easy wins. As you can see, we're still winning with this setup up here in Series 12. Really nice, really beautiful. All right, so now we're going to cut Kimi down right there and let him defend his way to finish. Well, we're going to be boosting Verstappen to finish from here. And the key to using this setup is not to stock your drivers. That is the key. Even if you're using the same soft compound and boat drivers, try your best not to stock. Because once you stock, it's going to be detrimental to your drivers. All right. So you always want to try to go for the split strategy in some form. Or if you're going to go for uh, soft tires, you want to make sure you push one driver uh, to pit before the other. So if you're going to use softs, then you want to go to pit in the second lap and in the third lap but not on the same lap with both drivers or else you're gonna pay with a high pit time of 6.51 seconds all right now for stopping can just boost the finish from here and this race is in the back keep me up into p16 and remember all you're interested in doing uh, is beating your rival in duels so it doesn't matter if you're scoring 20 if you're finishing in 20 and 21 and your rival is in 23 and 24 as long as you're in front of that rival you win all right that's how duels work so always remember that you're not really trying to beat the entire pack when you're doing duels you're just trying to win the race against the rival all right please do not be using this in the gp events it does not uh, work in gp events i've tried it before in gp events just for testing purposes and the results is not good all right, so you don't want to be using this in the GP events as the GP events are for scoring scores, uh, beating the entire team. So this will not beat the entire team. It will only beat your rival. All right. So there we go. Okay, beautiful. Great race there. Awesome race from the rival Bottas and the rival Verstappen finishing up the race in P23 and P24 while we're in p17 and p18 so we beat our rival and we got the win <laughs> all right so we're going to take a look at the debriefing and you guys can see this mar marvelous setup in all its glory and you're gonna see the reason why we win with this setup all right all right so first up you see we got match with a guest guest rival uh that's mostly going to be a bot rival so most of the time with this setup, you're going to be matching against those bot rivals. There are our drivers. We got level 10 Kimi, level 7 Verstappen, and we went up against a level 3 Bottas and a level 1 Verstappen. How is that match possible? Everybody would be like, Game with King, how did you get that match? Yeah, we know that yeah, we know uh, it's an impossible match. However, the rival car is going to be way better than our car because <laughs> we're running on the stock part setup still able to get wins really good setup in the game uh, if you want to get some wins in there uh, as you can see really really great and the rival car is way stronger than our car hence we got way better drivers than the rival drivers all right hence we outmatch them outrun them and win all right so using this technique you could win like all day long you just win non-stop i haven't tried it in a long while so today i decided to we come back to it and see uh, if it still works. And look at that, it does. All right. So that's basically going to be it for this video. Use code word secret tune down below to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video. Really appreciate you guys for all your support. And that's going to be it for this one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Walk good, guys.
拜。